Hey, I'm Lori from HairByLori.com. I'm here with my daughter, Hope, today. Hi. Today we have a fun Pocahontas-inspired hairstyle, which we have jazzed up with some awesome scunchy hair tattoos, which Hope really loves. Right, Hope? Yes. <laughs> she thinks they are awesome. So let's get started. So I've started by parting her hair straight down the back using a rat tail comb. It's the easiest way for me to get a straight part line. And... I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna make another part from a couple inches back down towards her ear. And I'm just gonna tie the rest of this hair back out of the way. Clip it there. Okay, and now I'm gonna come up along the top part and gather a section running the length of her part line. And I'm gonna split it into three and just do a French braid here. So taking the outer parts into the middle and then picking up a little section of hair as I go. So I'm just gonna French braid this all the way down here. Okay, now I've picked up all the hair that was there. I'm just gonna continue braiding it out into a three strand braid along the same direction I was braiding. Securing with an elastic. Kind of let that one hang forward out of the way. Do another part here. Come along over here. it down towards the ear again. Now I am going to check and make sure, because I'm going to show you how to use these awesome hair tattoos at the end, but I want to make sure that the design that I'm going to use is going to fit on there. So I'm going to make mine just a little bit wider here. Then we'll have an adequate uh, canvas to put that on. So clip this out of the way. And I'm going to come along for some extra detail. And I'm going to do another part here from the back part line over towards her ear. Okay. And then we can secure this out of the way temporarily again. So I'm going to come along her part line here, pick up a section of hair. I'm going to divide it into three parts and we're going to do a Dutch braid. So it's the same as our French braid except for the outer parts are going to go under. So under and then you add hair in on each side and braid it all the way out. I'm going to pancake just a tiny bit at the very top and the rest I'm going to leave tight. Okay, so now I'm going to let down that part and undo that. Smooth it out as I need to. And then I'm going to hold all of the hair together Make sure you don't have any little pieces that are hanging down at the back. Now's the time to catch them. This one I'm going to take over it. This one I'm going to make sure it sits behind her ear. Go over that and I'm going to do a regular three strand braid now with these three sections.
You can see both of those braids ended at about the same point. I'm going to put another elastic at that point and leave the rest of it down. Okay, and then we're going to do the other side just like that. And then we'll talk about adding our cool hair tattoos to give it even greater effect. So we were sent these hair tattoos from Scunchy, and I thought it would be a fantastic addition to a Pocahontas type braid. So we are going to take them out and show you how to dress up this hairstyle even more with them. And I do believe they will have a couple of different designs and they will be in stores this October. If you've ever done any at-home tattoos, very similar. So you're going to take the sheet and cut out the design you want. I am choosing this large one to do on Hope's head here. So I decided to do the large one with the two small ones to accent it. And I am going to pull the plastic sheet off. And I'm going to lay it up against her head the way that, oh, careful it's sticky there the way that I want it and it's going to stick on. Okay, so we're going to lay it there and then we're going to come with our wet washcloth or paper towel or a sponge if you've got it and we're going to press it on. And I'm just kind of curving it to the shape of her head as I go along to make sure that it's going to stick on there nicely. I'm just going to Hold it and press it up against her head here for a minute. Let that moisture absorb into it. And the cool thing about this, it really adds a nice pop to your hairstyle and it'd be great for other events or occasions just to add a little something extra to even if you're just wearing your hair down. Um, and then when you're done, it just washes out. And just do it slowly so that you can make sure it's stuck under her hair nicely. There we have it. Her hair a little messed up there, so I'm gonna just pull gently down here to kind of smooth that out. Maybe come back with a little hairspray when we're done. There's side one. Very cool. And let's do side two. I'm just going to hold it in place here for a moment. Okay. So 30 seconds is up. I'm going to just gently and carefully peel it. Hair stays in place there. How fun is that? And if you got some of the hair tattoos that were in the smaller strip, you could move your braid up and do it in between. A lot of fun things you could do with these. Okay, and then at the end, if you have any flyaways like Hope has here, I'm just going to come back with some hairspray and you can smooth down. Just be gentle and watch out for your hair tattoo as you go. Thanks so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope if you try this hairstyle at home that it turns out awesome for you. And I would love to see how it goes. So you can share a photo on my Facebook page or tag me in a photo on Instagram at Hair by Lori. Also, if you try the scunchy hair tattoos, I would love to see how you style yours. So share a photo of that as well. Give, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Have a great day. Bye.